day plan today, we're actually doing a wine tour around Stellenbosch. So we're just going to be driving through the countryside, sipping on wine. Let's get started. And eating cheese. Mm. white wines with cheese. I don't know which one I'm more excited about. I think maybe the cheese. <laughs> and this is my favorite cheese so far. It's called White Rock with Cranberry. It tastes a little bit like cheesecake. <laughs> It tasted a little bit like Christmas cake. It was delicious. Good to the last drop. So we just finished our first wine tasting here at Fairview. We tried six different wines with cheese. I think we're feeling pretty happy right about now, aren't we? It's 11.14 in the morning right now, and I'm already well greased. Our second vineyard of the day. This one is called Murati and it has more of a rustic family feel. So let's go check that one out. particular vineyard has a lot of character, has an especially rustic feel and it's just been cool touring around here. Even some of the areas have like what appear to be permanent cobwebs. It's pretty amazing. And this particular red wine, and we got straight from the barrel. Ooh, take a sip. It's good. Dessert? We are what? Roasting mushrooms! Over the open fire. We're just missing the chocolate and the graham crackers. Roasted to perfection? Oh, hot. Is it good? Mmm. <laughs> Delicious? Mmm. <laughs> All right, I'll get the next one. Right. And here's how I like mine, nice and crispy all over. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's a mouthful. <laughs> all right, so we just finished a delicious braai lunch and we're feeling quite stuffed, but the tour isn't over. We still have two more vineyards to visit and apparently there's biltong and chocolate on the menu. So I'm looking forward to that. They're gonna be carrying us away on wheelbarrows by the time mm -hmm. we're finished. So we are now at our fourth vineyard. Everyone is wearing hats. I'm not sure why, but we're gonna go and drink some wine in our fancy hats. So we've moved on from cheese to lunch, and now we've got chocolate. And over here, I've got a chili chocolate. So apparently, you don't taste it too much when you're chewing it, but when it goes down, when you're swallowing it, that's when you really feel the burn. So let's see if that's true. 
I'd love to see so much now. Maybe take a sip of wine and see what happens. Yeah. As soon as you swallow it, you feel the burn. It's not too overpowering, but it's uh, it's it's got some it's got some kick to it for sure. Time for some wine. You want neck scratches? You're sweet, aren't you? Why are you behind gates? Huh? You're not dangerous. You're are baby. you a guard dog? Are you a guard dog? Those are nice, aren't they? Oh, 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 oh. you're getting a puppy massage. Puppy massage. So we have now arrived at our fifth and final winery of the day. To be honest, they're all starting to blend together because we've been drinking way too much wine. But there's still a little room for a few more glasses, so let's go in and sample some more. cheese and we've had chocolate with our wine and now it's time for biltong which is a type of <clears throat> South African jerky. This is awesome high quality fresh biltong. Final impressions is that was a fantastic tour. It is actually our very last day in South Africa and I couldn't think of a more relaxing way to finish things off. The wine was fantastic. All of the food was really good. We had some excellent cheeses, chocolate and biltong and we had a huge feast for lunch. So what a great way to wrap things up and that's it for us in South Africa.